Good afternoon, everyone. I'm John Mason, Chancellor of Penn State Harrisburg. And I'm pleased to welcome you to the 2021 Faculty and Staff Recognition Program. Thank you for joining us to honor and congratulate a very special group of people. Today, we recognize our college award winners, acknowledge retirements, and present 25-year service chairs. I encourage you to read more about your colleagues and the program that's been provided. We'll hear from some of them today via recorded messages. We'll start by recognizing our retirees, beginning with Dr. Steve Beckles, Director of Counseling and Student Support. For nearly three decades, he has led the college's counseling and psychological services and student disability resources. His steady hand, strategic grant writing, and thoughtful leadership have steered these departments through much growth and change. His service extends beyond our campus as he was instrumental in the development of counseling and psychological services programs at the Schuylkill and Mon Alto campuses. Thank you, Dr. Backles, for your dedicated service to the university. I was asked what, what might be a highlight of, of my time here at Penn State Harrisburg, and um, I don't know that I can point to a particular occurrence or highlight, but I, I think it's more of the theme of kind of the steady progression of, of building um, counseling services and disability services to to uh, where we're really able to to serve the the. Uh, the population that we have now of about 5,000 students. Um, we started off with uh, two counselors and at, at one point uh, disability services was uh, an add-on for someone else in student affairs, but now we've got a fully functioning professional staff. We now recognize Donna Howard, Associate Director of Campus Life and Intercultural Affairs. Donna joined the college in 1984 as a staff assistant in the Office of Financial Aid. From there, she progressed to a variety of responsibilities within the Office of Student Affairs, including Veterans Affairs, Adult Learner Support, Judicial Affairs, and Disability Services. In her position as Associate Director of Campus Life and Intercultural Affairs, she supervised student activities, clubs and organizations, monitored cultural programming, and served as advisor to the Student Government Association. She has also served as the International Student and Adult Learner Advisor. Donna retired last December after having served the university for 39 years. We thank her for her dedicated service. Uh, that's where I hope people feel that I've been fair, equitable, open-minded, and that Hopefully, I've made people feel comfortable and that they belong at Penn State Harrisburg and that they have a purpose at Penn State Harrisburg. Our next honoree is Dr. Troy Thomas, Associate Professor of Art History in the School of Humanities. Dr. Thomas joined Penn State Harrisburg in 1975, a central figure in the teaching of humanities and art history courses. He has served as the professor in charge of the Master of Arts program in Humanities, as well as serving on the university's Graduate Council. Dr. Thomas has led study abroad trips to Florence, Rome, and other European cities, particularly to study major works of art and architecture. In recognition of his exemplary contributions to the college, Dr. Thomas has received the Penn State Harrisburg Awards for Excellence in Research and Scholarly Activity and excellence in teaching. We congratulate Dr. Thomas and thank him for 46 years of service. You know, I could have retired long ago. Uh, I'll be 79 in a couple of months when I retire. And um, so I stayed on quite a bit longer than a lot of faculty do. And I've done it because I love the contact with students so much. I love teaching. I love to hear them and their ideas. I love the classroom atmosphere, which of course today during COVID is a little hard to imagine because we have to teach online now. But um, I still feel, even with COVID, I still feel very connected with the students in my classes. Uh, it's not that bad. I mean, yes, students are missing that campus experience, which is so important for them, absolutely. But um, I don't find teaching online that 
difficult, really. It, it, you still, if you have a small class especially, you can really connect with the students. Our final retiree is Dr. Brenda L. Firestone, Interim Director and Education Program Associate in Continuing and Professional Education. Dr. Firestone joined the college in 1989 as Chemistry and Microbiology Laboratory Supervisor. She was part of the team that received grant funding to create the Environmental Training Center to support water and wastewater treatment operator certification and continuing education. In continuing education, as an education program associate, she administered workforce education programs geared toward an adult engineering and technical audience. Later, she oversaw the Career Studies Program, Addictions Conference, English as a Second Language Program, Early Reach Academy, and the ADHD Summer Treatment Program, along with many non-credit and professional development courses. Dr. Firestone retired last December. We thank her for 32 years of service to Penn State Harrisburg. We now come to the recognition of 25 years of service to the university, beginning with Dr. Margaret Rose Jaster, Associate Professor of Humanities and English in the School of Humanities. Dr. Jaster came to Penn State Harrisburg as Assistant Professor in 1995 and quickly became known as the voice for Shakespeare at the college. She was tenured and promoted to Associate Professor in 2001. Her research has appeared in Shakespeare Studies, Hibernia Review, Renaissance and Reformation, and Renaissance Quarterly. In recent years, she has been a faculty leader of promotion and tenure committees, search committees, and other college initiatives. She also has adapted to teaching new courses in English and the humanities, especially new integrative studies courses. Congratulations, Dr. Jaster, on 25 years of service to the university. I would like to think that my legacy is that the students that I have had the great pleasure to teach in these last 25 years here, um, will we'll consider literature as part of their lives. They consider theater, I hope, as um, something to do, not only to be a part of if they don't want to do that, but just to go to the theater. Um, I, my, I'd like to think that they're less afraid of Shakespeare because of their studying with me. Um, I have been very lucky to teach a lot of future teachers, and I hope that from studying with me, they get an idea of what a wonderful opportunity um, it is to be able to teach and um, to have the, I mean, the astounding luck to interact with young people. Wow. And so I think if that's a legacy, um, I think that's, that's pretty realistic. We now recognize Judy McDonald, Administrative Support Assistant in the Office of a Mission. Judy joined the university in 1995 as a staff assistant at the College of Medicine. Eight years later, she moved to Penn State Harrisburg, where she took on the responsibility of processing graduate, undergraduate, non-degree and transfer applications. In her current position, Judy coordinates and monitors all phases of the graduate application process. In addition, she volunteers her time to the college's We Care Food Pantry, which has been integral in providing a much needed resource for those students who suffer from food insecurity at our campus. We congratulate and thank Judy for 25 years of outstanding dedication and service. We now recognize Colleen Monismith, Administrative Support Assistant in the Office of Career Services. Colleen joined the college in 1993 as a part-time information specialist in the Pennsylvania State Data Center before transitioning to a full-time position in 1995. In her current role with Career Services, Colleen's responsibilities include assessing student needs and connecting them to appropriate resources. She was instrumental in the onboarding of the Polycom remote interviewing system and the rollout of the Nittany Lion Careers Job and Internship Board. She successfully manages the back end, vetting and approving of employers and their job postings in an efficient manner. 
Colleen has also played a major role in helping to grow and manage the student career peer team. We congratulate and thank Colleen for 25 years of outstanding dedication and service. And I think the highlight of my career in that 15 years that I was with Career Services um, definitely is my interaction with students. When I worked at the data center, I didn't have much interaction with students. Um, so I definitely enjoy um, helping students and just the, enjoying the everyday interaction with them. So uh, they get what they need. They can come to me and I can give them the answers and just seeing the smile on their face has definitely been the highlight of my career. We now recognize Dr. Linda Null, Associate Professor of Computer Science in the School of Science, Engineering, and Technology. Dr. Null joined the college as an assistant professor in 1995. Her many contributions have included teaching, advising, research, and service. She was the graduate coordinator for computer science for many years and is currently the associate chair for computer science. She has participated in numerous program, school, and college committees, most notably serving as a member of the Curricular Affairs since 2005 and as chair and or co-chair of this committee for the past decade. Dr. Knoll's commitment and dedication have been recognized with multiple awards during her tenure at Penn State Harrisburg. She is a recipient of the Catherine Towns Women's History Month Award, the Excellence in Teaching Award, the Excellence in Advising Award, the Excellence in Faculty Service Award, the Thomas Eberline Excellence in Teaching Award, and the Penn State Teaching Fellow Award. We congratulate Dr. Knoll on her outstanding service to the university. The feeling that I get when a student actually gets it, you look at their face and you can see that they actually understand um, it, it's that aha moment. And then you have students that go to work for Microsoft or Google um, and you think, wow, I, I, I helped make that happen. And they go on to be extremely successful. So it's, I think in terms of highlights, it has to be uh, my students. I get um, an email from a student thanking me for uh, teaching them what they, uh, being able to teach them things that they were able to understand and use that and go out and get a job. I can't tell you the number of students we've had go to Microsoft and I get an email and they say, Dr. Nall, thank you for teaching me about X or Y or Z. Uh, I got my job because of that. But it definitely, my highlight has to be in what my students take away from my classes. We now recognize Dr. Seth Walpert, Associate Professor of Electrical Engineering in the School of Science, Engineering, and Technology. Dr. Walpert came to Penn State Harrisburg in 1995 after having worked in industry and in higher education. His research includes silicon-based models of nerve cells, neural circuits, and neural processes. He has also worked in development of medical devices in support of the Surgical Innovation Group at the Penn State Health Milton S. Hershey Medical Center. Dr. Walpert has served as president of the Capitol College Faculty Senate, member of promotion and tenure committees at the school and college level, chair of the assessment review committee for the electrical engineering and electrical engineering technology programs, chair of the faculty affairs committee, and co-chair of the diversity and educational equity committee, among others. We congratulate Dr. Walport on 25 years of dedicated service to the university. We now recognize Dr. Yu Feng Xia, Professor of Environmental Engineering in the School of Science, Engineering, and Technology. Dr. Xia came to Penn State Harrisburg in 1995 as an Assistant Professor of Environmental Engineering, gained tenure as an Associate Professor of Environmental Engineering in 2001, and was promoted to the rank of Professor in 2007. Dr. Shia co-founded and co-directed the Small Public Water Systems Technology Assistance Center and Environmental Training Center on campus. A leader in drinking water quality and treatment, he currently serves on the U.S. EPA Science Advisory Board Drinking Water Committee. His contributions have been recognized by awards from the American Water Works Association and its Pennsylvania section, the Pennsylvania Water Environmental Association, and the Chinese American Professors in Environmental Engineering and Science. 
Dr. Shia has received the Penn State Harrisburg Faculty Excellence in Research Award and the Penn State University Faculty Outreach Award. Recently, he was nominated by the University Office of the Physical Plant for the naming of an honorary road, Gia Lane, for his longtime contributions to water and wastewater management. Congratulations, Dr. Gia, on 25 years of service to the university. Also being recognized for 25 years of service to the university is Dr. Eugene Bowman, Associate Professor of Mathematics in the School of Science, Engineering, and Technology. Congratulations, Dr. Bowman. I'm Umid Ansui, Senior Associate Dean for Academic Affairs and Administration. And it is my pleasure to begin the presentation of our annual faculty and staff awards. I encourage you to read more about your colleagues in the program that has been provided. The recipient of this year's Excellence in Faculty Service Award is Dr. Jane M. Wolburn, Professor of Mathematics Education in the School of Behavioral Sciences and Education. Dr. Wilburn is an accomplished scholar and a model citizen to the college community. As the chair of the teacher education program, she heads 18 degree and certificate programs. In addition, she also stepped forward to lead the elementary education program at a time of need. She has also successfully led the school's National Council for Accreditation of Teacher Education and Association for Advancing Quality in Educator Preparation Reaccreditation Teams. Dr. Wilburn has an extensive grantsmanship portfolio that demonstrates her service activities through collaborative team leadership on grants and projects. She served on the University Senate, Promotion and Tenure Committees, and Faculty and Administrative Search Committees. Her professional service activities include leadership roles at the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics, Pennsylvania Association of Mathematics Teacher Educators, and the Pennsylvania Council of Supervisors of Mathematics and other organizations. Congratulations, Dr. Wilburn, on this well-deserved award. I'm honored to receive this service award, and I find that being able to participate in various service activities has allowed me to really get to know faculty and staff from across the campus and to see the unique talents and gifts that each of us have to offer and to provide to the campus. This year's the Excellence in Research and Scholarly Activity Award is being presented to three recipients. The first is Dr. Chanel Poirazla, Professor of Counseling Psychology in the School of Behavioral Sciences and Education. Dr. Poirazla's research interests include psychological and environmental factors that impact immigrant student achievement, a culturative stress, the college adjustment process, international students, and multicultural competency. She has been named a fellow of three divisions of the American Psychological Association, APA, and has received external grant funding from organizations such as the Children, Youth, and Families Consortium and the Foundation for the Scientific Study of Sexuality. Congratulations, Dr. Poi Razla. I'm very grateful that the importance of the research I've been conducting and publishing under Penn State for the past two decades has been recognized by the Research Awards Committee and the Chancellor's Office. I am grateful to many people for, um, for, receive, for receiving this award, for giving this award to me. I have had many administrators at Penn State Harrisburg that facilitate the process for me to become a skillful and a productive researcher. The latest example is Dr. Mark Kasalika. Within the past 12 months alone, I have had seven peer-reviewed journal publications thanks to his mentoring, encouragement, and support. I am grateful. The second recipient is Ms. Jennifer Hurt, Associate Professor of Creative Writing and Composition in the School of Humanities. 
Professor Hurt's research interests include the art of the essay, 20th century and 21st century creative nonfiction writers, and trends in award-winning essays. She has been awarded various grants and awards, including a grant for the Visiting Writers Series as a part of Penn State's Humanities in the World Initiative, the Forward Review's Indie Award of Gold Anthology category, the Gebhardt Prize for Nonfiction from the Kentucky Women Writers Conference, a grant for teaching creative writing from Penn State's Schreier Institute for Teaching Excellence, the Drake University Emerging Writer Award for Under Glass, and the Pushcart Prize for the essay, Lures of Last Unicorns. She has published five books in the last 10 years, including Hear Me, Ohio, Too Many Questions About Strawberries, Kept Secret, The Half-Truth in Nonfiction, Creative Nonfiction, 20 Essays and Interviews with Their Writers, and Under Glass, The Girl with a Thousand Christmas Trees. Congratulations, Professor Hurt. Dr. David L. Williamson, Associate Professor of Kinesiology in the School of Behavioral Sciences and Education, is the third recipient of the Excellence in Research and Scholarly Activity Award. Dr. Williamson's research interests include mechanisms of skeletal muscle anabolic resistance, interventions that improve insulin sensitivity, and mechanisms of exercise-induced insulin sensitivity. He was awarded a research grant titled Regulation of Skeletal Muscle Anabolic Resistance in Obesity from the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases within the National Institutes of Health for an anticipated $1.9 million. His research appears in journals such as Acta Physiologica, Psychological Reports, American Journal of Physiology, Endocrinology, and Metabolism, and the Federation of American Societies for Experimental Biology Journal. Congratulations, Dr. Williamson. This year, the Excellence in Teaching Award is being presented to two recipients. The first recipient is Dr. Anna Patricia Aguilera Ermida, Assistant Teaching Professor of Human Development and Family Studies in the School of Behavioral Sciences and Education. Dr. Aguilera Ermida is known as a passionate, motivational, and supportive teacher with expertise in aging and adult development. She coordinates unique experiences that benefit students' learning, offer collaborative opportunities with other disciplines and community organizations, and provide educational services to our campus and surrounding general community. Her students repeatedly comment on her passion for her subject material, her deep caring for them as students, and her personal warmth as a human being. They describe her as a dedicated, responsive, energetic professional, and a caring, resourceful, and inspiring instructor. They also note her extensive involvement with student life, including acting as advisor to the Human Development and Family Studies and Latino clubs, and co-organizing opportunities for students to present their research. Congratulations, Dr. Aguilera Ermida. I'm very thankful. I still don't know who nominated me, which makes me more grateful. To you, thanks. The Excellence in Teaching Award means a lot to me because it symbolizes that people see my capabilities and the things that I'm bringing to the university. Being a Latina professional is a little bit hard sometimes. Students and colleagues have stereotypes and many times they act upon them. Therefore, having recognition from a committee that doesn't know you personally, but it is analyzing the work that you're doing is very rewarding. You are being judged like everyone else. And your work is being recognized for what you are doing and not necessarily for who you are or the stereotypes that are around you. So it means a lot. The second recipient is Dr. Sabri Yulmas, Associate Teaching Professor of Economics in the School of Business Administration. Dr. Yulmas is described as an exemplary educator who creates a challenging and rewarding learning environment and inspires the love of learning and curiosity in his students. 
Each semester, Dr. Yilmaz teaches at least one large section of the introductory economics course and consistently receives outstanding teaching ratings. The introductory courses can be challenging to teach because they serve as a general education requirement for students with completely different backgrounds and knowledge levels. Dr. Yilmaz engages his students with detailed and organized teaching materials, practical illustrations and exercises, and current business issues and events. His approachable and friendly teaching style and easy communication is valued by his students. His thorough knowledge of the topics and passion has inspired former students to pursue degrees. His students note that they are grateful for his academic mentorship, patience, support, guidance, and investment in their educational development. Congratulations, Dr. Yilmaz. Uh, when I see my students uh, after you know taking my classes in the uh, in the after in the after semesters, uh, I bump to them and I uh, I see that they are achieving. I mean they are uh, trying to you know do their best uh, with the with the knowledge that they already have uh, in our uh, in my classes. Uh, and let me tell you a story here. Uh, one day uh, when I was uh, in the in the hallway, uh, I was waiting for an elevator, and one of my students, previous students, uh, probably one or two semesters before, uh, he uh, called my name from uh, all the from uh, all the way uh, other side of the uh, the hallway, and saying that Dr. Ilmaz, uh, how are you doing? Uh, you are the reason why I choose why I chose economics as a major, which I was not planning. To do that, so these type of uh, you know uh, things, these type of uh, good feedback and the impact that we see on our students are kind of uh, the uh, the best way of motivation for us to uh, better our teaching, uh, to uh, touch uh, the lives of our our uh, students as well. So uh, I have yeah similar stories like these, but. At the end of the day, as I said, uh, if I if I have the opportunity uh, to let them uh, love economics and uh, love what they are doing, and uh, in their future career, if they use that knowledge and if they use that uh, information and uh, that background, uh, that is probably uh, the most satisfying feeling for for an instructor. And uh, when I see that, I really feel proud, not just of myself, but also of our uh, college and also of our uh, university as well. This year, the Excellence in Advising Award is being presented to two recipients. The first is Dr. Catherine McCormick, Assistant Teaching Professor of Communications and Humanities in the School of Humanities. Dr. McCormick is a former chair of the communications program and the coordinator of the Media Institute at Penn State Harrisburg, which produces the college's student-run media outlets, Inked, a monthly magazine, and Mixed, a monthly podcast. She is known for the quality of her academic advising and the quality of mentorship she provides to students. Dr. McCormick oversaw the communications department during a difficult degree modification and she was instrumental in developing systems to help students and other advisors. Dr. McCormick's performance as an advisor is evidenced by praise she has received from grateful students who indicate that their education and transition from other institutions would not have been as successful without her. Her encouragement, perseverance, and caring attitude have earned Dr. McCormick her reputation as an excellent teacher, advisor, and mentor. Congratulations, Dr. McCormick. Uh, it feels amazing to have uh, this campus community recognize me for the work that I've done with the students over the past 14 years. Uh, I am most proud of the fact that I work closely with the students and that I, I do my very best to provide them with not only you know, good advice, but also um, good examples, you know, of, of what it what it means to be successful. So it feels awesome to, to have that be publicly recognized uh, by my uh, campus 
colleagues and uh, administration. The second recipient is Dr. Rebecca Weiler Timmons, Associate Teaching Professor of Kinesiology in the School of Behavioral Sciences and Education. Dr. Rebecca Weiler Timmons serves as the coordinator for the Kinesiology Program Exercise Science Option. She has implemented several innovative, high-impact advising practices to ensure that students develop academic success plans, understand their academic requirements, and access campus resources for additional support. In addition to her formal advising role, Dr. Weiler Timmons has served as the faculty advisor to the Kinesiology Club, faculty athletic liaison to the women's basketball team, advisor for Kappa Beta Gamma, and student intern mentor in the Center for Fitness and Wellness. She assists with recruiting student athletes by meeting with them during their initial campus visits in order to provide insight on the academic options that meet their interest. Congratulations, Dr. Weiler Timmons. This award is special for me because about eight years ago, we were tasked with creating a kinesiology undergraduate degree program at Penn State Harrisburg. The program is now completing its fifth year in existence, and the cornerstone for our program has always been about teamwork. So this award suggests that we have been successful at creating strong connections with our students on their journey towards a degree in exercise science, and that is something that, that I'm very proud of. The recipient of this year's Thomas Eberline Excellence in Teaching Award is Mr. Daniel Massey, adjunct lecturer in the Mechanical Engineering Technology and Mechanical Engineering Program in the School of Science, Engineering, and Technology. Professor Massey teaches courses related to computer-assisted design and simulation. He encourages students to learn at their own rate while also leading them to learn beyond what is presented in the classroom. He accomplishes this by building a strong connection with students. His student-centered approach and his commitment to teaching have been highlighted by his success in developing software to help the visually impaired gain a full computer-assisted design experience, multiple new courses that he has developed to meet students' needs, and the number of positive student comments that portray him as a caring, patient, and understanding professor who provides personal attention to students to help ensure their success. Congratulations, Professor Massey. The impact I believe I had on the students was to care about the students who were uh, falling through the cracks, who had life challenges. And um, that uh, I've had countless students, I can't remember them all, who have come back to me and thanked me for these talks that I've had with them or helped them get redirected in their journey of life. And um, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to give back to the university and, and help students out as I go along. Good afternoon, I'm Holly Angelique, Assistant Dean for Academic Affairs. I am pleased to present this year's Faculty Diversity Award to Dr. Roderick Lee, Associate Professor of Information Systems in the School of Business Administration. Dr. Lee is an authentic leader in service to the community whose passion for assisting students and educating others on and off campus about diversity, equity, and inclusion exemplifies the criteria for the Faculty Diversity Award. During this year, Dr. Lee was appointed by President Barron to serve on the Select Penn State Presidential Commission on Racism, Bias, and Community Safety a group tasked to address the social issues related to racism and bias that are pervasive in the nation and Penn State. This year, Dr. Lee also was instrumental in establishing the College's Council on Race, Ethnicity, and Diversity, a group he also co-chairs. The commission existed as a resource at the university level, but Dr. Lee recognized that the value and direct impact of such a commission's work could be dramatically enhanced if formally organized and incorporated at Penn State Harrisburg. Dr. Lee's leadership roles and high level of engagement in university level commissions and committees, as well as the insight and knowledge he has provided, greatly enrich our college's diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts. Congratulations, Dr. Lee. Uh, first of all, I am uh, humbled to receive the Faculty Diversity Award this year. Uh, there's a lot been going on this year, but I would like to say that my contribution to the diversity 
equity and inclusion, uh, you know, conversation at large uh, has been pretty uh, impactful uh, from helping to start the Council on Race, Ethnicity and Diversity at Penn State Harrisburg, from serving on the Presidential Select Commission on Racism, Bias and Community Safety. The recipient of this year's Staff Diversity Award is Dr. Marissa Graby Hoover, Senior Director of Alumni and Development. Dr. Hoover is a champion of diversity, equity, and inclusion at Penn State Harrisburg and the community. She has served the campus community for 17 years. During that time, Marissa served 11 years as Senior Woman Administrator to oversee and advise the athletic department on Title IX and reestablish the women's basketball program at Penn State Harrisburg. Marissa has served the campus on the Diversity and Educational Equity Committee, the Development and Alumni Relations Diversity Committee, the Commission for Women, and the Penn State Harrisburg Athletic Integration Committee. Marissa helped start the Alliance of Women Coaches, where she served as a board member for six years. Marissa's history of dedication to diversity, equity, and inclusion includes receiving the Dorothy Harris Scholarship Award in 2002 for excellence and contribution to development in women's sports. Marissa emphasizes the importance of recognizing alumni and donors from diverse backgrounds who contribute to our college community. She has also led efforts to secure $550,000 in new commitments for educational equity scholarships to be matched by the university for an impact of $1.1 million. This illustrates Marissa's dedication to diversity and will be realized through approximately $50,000 in scholarship annually and will support the diversity of the student body. Congratulations, Dr. Hoover. Hi, my name is Marissa Hoover. I am extremely honored to receive this award. Diversity has been something I've been passionate about my whole life. Not that I would ever personally experience some of the challenges of my peers, but I can honor and recognize them and I can work to make um, the world a better place to give them opportunities um, where I can use my voice for those that are unheard. Uh, I can use my courage to fight for those without power and I can use my privilege to help others experience opportunities they dream about. So for me, I have to be honest and say, you know, in, in some ways, um, I don't know if I deserve this award, um, but I'm honored by it. I, I'm really happy to be in a position where I can influence others. I've been taught um, to think critically um, in some of my coursework, and it's opened my eyes to a world I don't personally experience, um, but I can empathize and I can do something. And I think that's our job um, as citizens, as colleagues, as friends, is to see injustice and do something about it when we can. And to find ways to continually help others uh, open their eyes, open their mind and their hearts to the experiences that others have that they might not understand, but to honor them and value them and to work together as a community to make uh, the world we live in better. The recipient of this year's Catherine Towns Women's History Month Award is Dr. Shoba Potlot Kayala, Assistant Teaching Professor of Biology and Co-Principal Investigator with the Central Pennsylvania Research and Teaching Laboratory for Biofuels. Dr. Potla Kayala is a committed advocate for diversity. She works to serve underrepresented populations who are interested in cutting edge research and to help them gain hands-on experience in the areas of cell and molecular biology. She combines education and internships with a primary objective of reigniting the imaginations of students toward a passion for biology and other STEM disciplines with the goal of increasing diversity in the STEM community. Dr. Patla Kayala has mentored and supervised many female students in research and academics through programs at the National Science Foundation, National Institutes of Health, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. She also trained women international faculty from the NITE India in microbiology. 
She provides hands-on STEM training through the college's Office of Multicultural Recruitment and Community Affairs, and works to promote diversity in STEM in public schools within the Capital Region through the mentorship and training she has provided to middle and high school students and teachers. Congratulations, Dr. Putla Kayala. First of all, I would like to thank the members of the selection committee for selecting me for this award. I'm very honored and honestly, quite humbled to receive this prestigious award. Uh, I have enjoyed working at Penn State Harrisburg for the past 12 years. I personally owe this to our previous chancellor, Dr. Madeline Haynes and previous school director and currently the senior associate dean, Dr. Omid Ansari who gave me the opportunity to join this college in 2009. I'm so grateful to Marissa Hoover, who played a big role in developing Central PA Laboratory for Biofuels through public-private partnership. Um, finally, I'm elated, inspired, and feel that I have a lot to contribute, a lot more to the college and society during my professional journey. Serving students from diverse backgrounds in the classroom and are providing research training at the biofuels lab and shaping careers of young women and providing constant encouragement and mentoring and seeing them successfully land in their choice of career, be it graduate school or medical or health professions, has given me utmost satisfaction during my stay here at Penn State Harrisburg. I am pleased to present this year's Staff Service Award to two recipients. The first is Dr. Steve Beckles, Director of Counseling and Student Support. Over the past 30 years, Dr. Beckles has approached teaching and his role as supervisor with humble dedication. No matter the situation, from fielding crisis questions to simply running staff meetings, his quiet and measured leadership never wavers. In his role as a therapist, psychologist, and teacher, his love of working with college students is evident in the respect, dedication, and unassuming professionalism he applies to those relationships. He builds his days around serving students. They continue to describe Steve's unwavering commitment to the ideals he lives by. His personal and professional interactions show respect for every individual. Students were drawn to him for his wise counsel and his calm, accepting manner. Though he served hundreds of students in the years he has worked at Penn State Harrisburg, he met new students with energy and an air of expectancy. Dr. Backles is recognized for the breadth of his impact, the consistency of his work, and the depth of his loyalty and care for the college community. Congratulations, Dr. Backles. Well, I'm, I'm honored and humbled that I received uh, that I'm a co-recipient of the Staff Ser Service Award. Um, I was surprised that I was nominated, but also, um, as I said, feel very honored and um, pleased and I really appreciate it. And it, it certainly, I think, really says something about all the people I've worked with and the support that I've had that's uh, allowed me to do the work that um, folks have been pleased with. The second recipient is Michael Meldick, Associate Director of Student Engagement, Resident Life, Student Conduct, and Student Care and Advocacy. Michael's service to Penn State Harrisburg is distinguished by his consistent efforts to positively impact the community beyond his assigned duties. He leads a wide range of offices and serves as a valuable conduit for information with numerous areas across campus. His tireless work to build student support systems in response to COVID-19 is exemplary. In Michael's role overseeing the student conduct process, his service has created safe, just, and educational experiences for students. He has used his talents in this area to create space for students to explore how their choices impact a greater community. He took on a great responsibility while providing an anchor for students who were processing what could have been a significant moment in their lives. He did this with a level of professionalism that did not waver. Michael is recognized for his leadership, care, and clear impact on the Penn State Harrisburg community. Congratulations, Michael. It's been a pleasure to recognize these fine faculty and staff members today. Each of them has contributed significantly to the growth and development of the college. 
Their impact is beyond measure. Their hard work and dedication exemplify the spirit that's enabled Penn State Harrisburg to become a sought after destination for students and a key partner in the well-being of our region. On behalf of the entire college community, I am pleased to recognize and congratulate our honorees once again, and thank you everyone for joining us for today's celebration.